It's good to be here. We are going to get started right on time. I will go ahead and tell you we probably will go over, depending on how long each slide takes. Shouldn't take more than about 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds, and there's uh, 97, 98 of them. So, And uh, if you would, hold your questions uh, till after each sequence. Uh, I will go ahead and tell everybody that all of your questions are answered in this training. I'm going to go right through the training. And um, uh, if you will follow this training step by step in the sequence that I'm about to do it in, you will not have any problems. Uh, I've been working on this since yesterday to make sure the sequence and everything falls into place. So you, excuse me, so you have zero trouble setting everything up uh, where you have uh, made a change to the marketing platform, something we haven't done in, uh, I guess this is our fifth year, uh, a change that that is, uh, keeps us in step exactly where we're at, where we're going and what you guys are doing out in the field. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. I know people are still checking in, but I want to roll right along. Uh, make sure you watch this replay. Bookmark this replay. Uh, Kenny usually has the um, timeline done within about 48 hours. There's a lot he does on that. So uh, once the timeline is instituted, uh, make sure you bookmark the YouTube video. And uh, this training is very, very, very detailed, and it's very, very, very important that you understand how to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, real quick, my name is Kerry Miller. I am the trainer for App Wizard Studio. This is my fifth year. I just surpassed my fifth year uh, with App Wizard Studio and, and the team, and I'm, uh, I'm glad to be here. Uh, if you have not joined our App Wizard Studio Mastermind Group, uh, I highly recommend you do so. You have to be a member of App Wizard uh, to do that, and you have to be also on Facebook. Disclaimer, App Wizard Studio nor I cannot guarantee just because you are watching training, you will make any sales, create any traffic, or increase your income. Every person is different, has different work ethics, and different desires. Professional email integration, something that, uh, that I've been waiting on a long time, uh, something that will help you uh, grow your business, uh, something that has been added now to the marketing platform uh, that will enhance uh, your email marketing campaigns with your businesses, uh, something that's uh, uh, been needed for a while. And uh, I am excited tonight. Uh, and thank Mark. Mark's been working, gosh, 30, 45 days, day and night on this, uh, getting the API integration and everything done. Uh, we've been testing it over the last a few days, made a couple of adjustments today, and everything seems to be working great. I'm going to have you actually test it during training uh, so that you can see how it works. And I am going to go through, once again, step by step, how to set this up. OK, why email? I mean, you know, people say, well, emails out and, and so forth. And I just went through my emails today and uh, while I was uh, preparing for training and I thought, well, you know, this is why email iTunes does it. <laughs> you know, if if it's good enough for iTunes, I can promise you it's good enough for your customers. You need to give them both avenues to reach out to their clients uh, via email and via text. And you need to give them email that is current with today's marketing strategies. And so uh, if it's good enough for iTunes, it's good enough for your clients. If it's good enough for Pizza Hut, as a matter of fact, I, I got this today. Uh, I'm, I'm also on Pizza Hut's uh, uh, campaign list for deals. And uh, I got this. And uh, so if it's good enough for Pizza Hut, I can promise you it's good enough for the mom and pop restaurants that you are working working for. And I don't know if you've ever been to Palm Beach and I don't know where else the melting pots are, but let me tell you about the melting pot real quick. It's a hundred dollars a person to go into the melting pot and eat fondue. Okay. 
It's absolutely one of my most favorite restaurants in Palm Beach Gardens. All right, if it's good enough for the melting pot at $100 a plate, I can promise you it's good enough for your clients. So email marketing is still here and it's, uh, it's an avenue that we've needed in our marketing platform and it has finally arrived. MailChimp integration is what we're going to be talking about tonight. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why MailChimp and why we went that direction. And uh, I'm going to step you through all the way from sign up, all the way to setting up your first welcome email and exactly how it works inside the platform. You can take notes, but I'm going to be cruising right along here. Okay. So once again, make sure you bookmark this training, make sure you understand exactly uh, how to set this up and make sure you follow these steps. If you get out of the steps that I'm going to take you through, you're probably going to get lost and, and some things probably aren't going to be set up correctly. First and foremost, MailChimp has been around forever. I've been using MailChimp as long as I can remember. I love MailChimp. And one of the reasons I like MailChimp is they are a no BS marketing platform for business. Uh, if you're an affiliate company and you're using MailChimp, you probably won't last long. They are businesses, uh, designed for businesses, and all of their upgrades and updates are there for businesses. And where they come from to where they're at today is absolutely. One of the biggest reasons I, I looked at MailChimp and, 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 and Woodrow and I talked about this for a long time and we discussed what program would be the best for the company is number one, it's free. And it literally will probably free forever for your clients, especially the mom and pops. You get up to 2,000 subscribers and 12,000 emails per month. I can guarantee you if you go over that, uh, they're not going to mind paying you 15 or 20 bucks a month for their email client. Okay. They will not mind doing that. And plus the automation. The best thing I love about MailChimp is, is you don't have to buy the upgrade to get the automation that has to do the things that you need to do for your clients. And that is email marketing. So simply you're just going to go up here and you're going to sign up for free. All right. And when this page comes up, you're just going to simply put in your information just like you would at any, any time. Now you can see that this is red right here before I actually put my email address in here. Sorry, role based addresses like support at are not allowed. And I put a support at, at gmail.com uh, in there so it would turn red so that you can see this. It needs to be a company name. Like for, for instance, this is my company name at gmail.com. <coughs> I set up a Gmail account for absolutely everything. Your, <coughs> your username and your password. When you're setting up your password, always remember this with MailChimp. It has to have an uppercase letter. So whether it's your first letter that's uppercase, your middle letter, always remember that. So when you go to log in and you cannot remember because you've always used the same password and it's not working, it's remember where you put the uppercase. That's the reason it's not working. All right. And or if you're like me, you have to reset it and, and, and start over. Go in and now you're going to log into your account. All right. And you're going to get this activate your MailChimp. Okay. Activate your MailChimp. You're going to open that up and you're going to go activate account. Once you activate your account, of course, it's going to go directly to here and it's going to say, I'm not a robot. Okay. They don't want spammers and machines going in and hijacking their system. So you've got to click the button. All right. Now you're in the system. It's opened up a browser so that you can start putting your information in your first name and your last name. There is nothing difficult about MailChimp. It is extremely user friendly and they take it very step at a time. So it's nice and slow. Hit continue. What's the name of your business? Put your business name in there. Watch your website. Put your website information in there. Then click continue. Okay. Your address. And of course, what is this used for? Can spam. Okay. 
to make sure that you are can spam compliant. All right. Your city, your state, your zip code, and your country. Believe it or not, we need a physical address to make sure your emails comply with international anti-spam laws. Don't have an official business address? Learn about physical address alternatives. All of your companies out there have physical addresses. All right. If you want to know why you have to do something in MailChimp, just simply read. Does your business sell anything? If you sell online, we'll help you get your store integrated with your account so you can send targeted emails to e-commerce customers, track ROI, and more. Okay. These integrate with Shopify, BigCommerce, Magento, and WooCommerce. This is a great opportunity if you're not yet to get involved. I love Shopify. Okay, this is this this also integrates well with our apps. This program also integrates very well with Shopify. I mean, they've got the triggers and everything already set up for your sales and your tracking data and everything already in here. So if you haven't yet implemented a shopping cart program, I recommend that you start studying Shopify. You're going to have a great mail program that's going to be uh, integrated within the marketing platform now. And you're going to be able to integrate the entire program in one app now. So just simply say yes. Continue. If you have your social media set up, and I hope you do, uh, all you have to do is click these. Uh, a integration box will pop up over here. Uh, it will close out and a check box will come up for each one. And then you simply hit continue. Accounts ready. Now, you can do this or not. How many of you on here have ever used MailChimp? Is there anybody on here that has yet used MailChimp? I know I put in the uh, Facebook group today to uh, uh, sign up for MailChimp. If you haven't, uh, some of you have, some of you haven't. Awesome, awesome, awesome. MailChimp is very easy to use, but if you haven't used it, Go ahead and click right here, subscribe to Getting Started, a series of e emails to walk you through step-by-step -step design, reporting, and more. And these, this is a very good series, okay? And it's very good for you to get familiar with. You want to be familiar with the program that you're going to go out and you're going to sell to your customers, okay? The, to, the opportunity for them to add this to their marketing plan. And you click continue, and now you're inside the system okay now we've set up our profile pretty much but there's a couple of things that you're going to need to do so you might as well go ahead and get it out of the way let this be the very first thing that you do because what you're going to do in this portion is going to affect setting up your emails at the very end of the training so simply go into your profile okay and we're going to come over here and we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to details. And when we go to details, right here where it says time zone, you want to adjust your time zone to the time zone that your business is in. Yeah, it's it, Abel. I see yours, Todd. Okay. So right here, just simply change your time zone. Okay. And, and hit save. Now, right here, it says I'm a marketing agency. There's a blue link right here that tells you what being an agent is, okay? So based on this right here, and you can see that I have it checked, check that and then go in and study it. What being an agent does is allows you from your master control panel, from your company control panel, you can send out a uh, an email to the people that you're working with, and you're probably going to control that anyway, and send out an email and you're going to connect their platform to your platform so you can do everything from one master platform. So go ahead and check on that. We're not going to go deep into the agency program. Just click on this link and it will walk you right through it. Okay. Hit save and come down here, help us improve your stats, your industry, the number of people in your organization and how old is your organization. Simply click save. I'd like to receive the following emails, confirmation when campaign is set. This is your statistical data, okay? This is your stats. And you want to, <clears throat> and the great thing about this program is, is it gives you stats. 
And you want to make sure that you get those so that you can what? You can, uh, hang on, I'm, got a text there real quick. Uh, somebody said they couldn't hear me. I told them to refresh. So right here, I'd like to receive the following emails. Confirmation when campaign is sent. Okay. Obviously, you want to know when a campaign has been sent. You may be out in the field and you may do this from your phone. Okay, so you want to make sure that the campaign is, a, is sent. And then every week you get an account summary, all right, that, that goes over the entire account. And hit save. All right. And, and now we're going to come over and we're going to take a look here. If you go into clients, this is where if you want to set up your agency account, just go in here and set up your agency account, add a client. It's going to be a place for them to come over here and send out an email. Uh, you can send out an email to your client. Let him know that it's coming. Uh, that way you can go ahead and connect your master account with your um, client's account. All right. Now let's go into the API key. Any questions on the first part? Any questions at all? I know it takes about 20 seconds for you guys to hear this. Any questions on the first part of setting up your account? We're going to be here about an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes anyway. So let's go ahead and get the questions out of the way after each subject. That way we make sure we don't miss anything. I'll be more than happy to slap back through the slides and, uh, and show you what we need to show you. But uh, this, is good. this is an amazing integration that I, I, I can't be happier that this has taken place. All right. Okay, I'm going to roll on here. The API key. When you set up your API key, I'm going to say this several times during this portion of the training. Save your API key. Put it in a safe place because you're going to need it to activate your account in the platform. Okay. In the marketing platform. You will need two items. You will need your list ID. And you have to have your API key. So make sure that when you create your API key, that it is uh, copied and pasted somewhere where it's safe. You have it. Put it in two or three different places in case you're out on the road and you have to have it to fix something. Always keep this API key safe. Do not share it with other people. Okay. Okay, first we're going to come over here and we're going to come to extras. All right. And right here under extras, it says API key. So you just click on extras. No matter what page you're on in here, just go to extras. And if you just follow through the steps and look at everything as we're going here, you'll see extras here at top. Click on API keys. When you come into the API section, you're going to see about the API, developing an API, an app, and your API keys. Simply scroll to the bottom, and this is very simple to do. Create a key, okay? Uh, created on May the 24th, 2017 at 1 11 p.m. Uh, Carrie Miller, none set, API key. It even gives you a QR code. Not really sure what that's for unless you send your API key to your uh, programmer and you want to send it in a secure method. So you can send it with a QR code. The status is on. Make sure, this is very, very important, make sure, especially if you're running two or three different APIs and you're already using MailChimp, make sure that this status button is on. If this is off, it will not trigger in the marketing platform. Any questions on creating an API key? Very, very simple. Very, very simple. Matter of fact, this is worth going through one more time. Simply go up here to extras, okay, API keys, click on API keys, you're in the API key section, simply scroll down uh, to the bottom of the page here and create a key, you, your key is right here, you copy this entire key because you will need this for your platform. Make sure that the status is green and checked. <clears throat> okay. Creating a list. This is a little bit longer, but it's 
pretty simple. No, you do not set the API code. Create a key, it creates it automatically. Create a key, it creates it automatically. When you copy this and you paste it, sometimes this happens. I've not had the problem with MailChimp, but uh, I've had problems with other API keys where it will put a space at the beginning. Make sure that your characters are all the way to the left in the box when you paste it, okay? When you paste it inside <clears throat> App Wizard Studio, okay? But this will create it automatically when you, uh, when you hit create a key, this number is generated automatically in this system. Did that answer your question, Mark? <clears throat> Creating a list. This is, <clears throat> other than that API key and the list ID, and I'm going to show you how to get the list ID in a minute. Don't forget how to get the API key and remember that you have to use that. Creating a list is the most important thing that you're going to do. <clears throat> this is where your data is going to be stored from your client's customers. So make sure you do this step by step and stay away from touching things that I don't ask you to touch because you can turn things on that will actually turn your list off inside the platform. So you don't need to go in and you don't need to try to do anything fancy with the forms or anything else. All of that is already set. Simply go in, we're going to create a list, get an ID number, and we're going to uh, uh, go in and we're going to put all everything together so we can send out our, our welcome email. So once you create a list, obviously you have no list. Okay, there's a big blue button over here that says create a list. Just simply come over and create a list. Now, you need to name the list. I've called this weekly coupons. All right. Uh, default from email address. This will be whoever is sending it. So, so for example, if you're working with uh, uh, John's Pizza Place, it may be uh, John at John's Pizza Place. He's the owner. He's the one responsible. So send it from John's at John at John's Pizza Place. It may be John's Pizza Place at gmail.com. So whatever it is, make it a recognizable name so that when people see that, okay, they realize what it is. The first, one of the first things I look at, because I read left to right, top to bottom, is who the email is from. If I don't recognize who it's from, even though it might be something I need, I will not open that email. I delete it, <coughs> and it's gone forever. Who's it from? <coughs> Y'all have to excuse me just a little bit here. I've been out with bad cold for the last week so let me grab a cough drop so I don't cough your head cough into the mic so make sure you put your name okay scroll down um, all this information is fine simply come down what notifications you want uh, sent to this email address I want the daily summer you can get them one by one for subscribes, you can get them one by one for unsubscribes. I highly recommend if you're out building a lot of lists, you don't do it one by one. You will be bombarded with emails. I speak from experience. Okay. Get a daily summary. It gives you all the information you need. And this is very important for you as, as the marketing uh, consultant for this company. You can see what's happening with your business, right? You can see how many signups he's getting, how many signups he's not getting. Is, does he need help with his marketing strategy? This allows you to be able to set back and help direct him where he needs to go. No different than texting. You need to track all of that information so that you know if that person needs help. And just, just do a daily summary. I, I recommend, and you will find out if you click these two, uh, not to click those two. All right, now we've created a, 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 our coupons, okay? So we're going to come on over, and we're going to come over, and we're going to go into settings, okay? Just click on your list. Click on your list right here. This is the actual link, weekly coupons. 
click on your list and come over here to settings we're gonna to go to list name and defaults all right does everybody see this big red arrow right here this is your list ID if you have browsers Facebook anything that's refreshing on your computer I recommend that you turn that off uh, the majority of the time that's the reason you lose sound is because uh, you have something refreshing in the background and it's pulling down your bandwidth so but right here uh, some plugins and integrations ours does may request your list ID ours does this is typically what they want and simply copy and paste this list ID in the same place that you put your API key okay put it in the same place that you put <coughs> your API key okay get that copy it and now you've created your list any questions on creating a list you don't need to create a form you don't need to create anything like that okay you simply need to recreate a list to create a list all right any questions at all going to list name and defaults let me go through this one more time because this this key is very very important this list ID is very very important simply come over to weekly coupons settings list name and defaults right here to the right is your list ID copy and paste your list ID in the same place where you put your uh, API key you have to have these two bits of information in order to activate your marketing platform all right you have to have these two bits of information automation this is to me the grandiose part of MailChimp if you've ever used Aweber, um, uh, what's the other one out there? Get Response, all the all the big names out there that that marketers use. You pay extra for all this automation, and with Mailchimp, the automation feature is free for two thousand subscribers and twelve thousand emails a month. I'm going to show you how to do that, Rick. I'm going to show you how to take that information, and I'm going to show you how to put it in. Most of you, how many how many people do you have in your list, Rick? Just curious, how many people? What's the average number of people that uh, have a marketing list built with email? What's the average number of people that you have on your list? anybody I forget I forget you guys are on a delay I'm gonna roll on here and and just throw that up there if you will there's a couple of ways you can do it I'm gonna show you how I, I no I understand for your customer how many emails does your customer have on his marketing list not a list that that he that you did not create let me let me tell you something there's two reasons we're doing this okay uh, one one people use have been using the platform to spam sending to people that did not sign up for whatever was involved with the app Two, the marketing platform needed this in order to stay up to date with current marketing trends okay I would not advise allowing people to uh, allowing people to upload their list into this platform you will without 
question, without exception, MailChimp will absolutely shut you down. And you're going to lose that part of the marketing platform. You will have to go in and completely reset up. It's everything that was worked for and achieved for that specific app. So I'm going to warn you now, and I can't stop you from doing it. If you go out and upload a bunch of BS list to this marketing platform, trying to drive traffic to an app and you get shut off, you can say that you heard it at 830 on 524 2017. Don't do it because you will. MailChimp will just cut you right off. They won't give you any warning and you will lose everything and they don't care because you broke the can spam compliant laws. Okay. Does everybody understand that? I want to make sure that everybody is perfectly clear that we didn't implement this for you to go out there and get screwed by some company uploading thousands of lists. And uh, yes, yes, a list separate from the one in the marketing platform. That's exactly what I mean. Okay. That's exactly what I mean. Uh, do not. I'm going to show you how. Now, they've already opted in the list for the uh, marketing platform. Okay. And I want to show you how to move those over. They've already opted in. All right. All right. Let's, let's roll on here. I'm very serious, guys. That's a very serious offense. I, I, I will tell everybody now. <laughs> I used to spam and I got shut down right after they, they passed the new spam laws. It's very expensive. It's not worth it. And I don't spam anymore. So I highly recommend you do not spam. Okay. I, I highly recommend it. That's why you hear me say all the time, do not do it. They're very serious when it comes to finding you. Very serious. Okay. We're going to create our list, all right? This is very simple, but you must follow the rules or, or follow the steps to create the list and create it properly. So let's go up here to the list, all right? Now, I'm, I'm sorry, automation. We already created the list. I got lost there talking about spam. I get worked up on spam because it's, number one, it scares me. It scares me for you because you will get in a lot of trouble. So simply go to automation, okay? Now we're gonna set up the email. You notice we made, we created the list, all right? Uh, we don't need to do anything else. The list was created. We've got the list ID that was created. You don't need to build a form. You don't need to touch anything else inside of list other than give it a name and that's it and get the list ID. <clears throat> The automation section of this platform is very, very cool. And there's a lot of things that you can do with this. As a matter of fact, Mark and I were talking today, and he's gonna he's gonna try to implement a couple of these automated things into the app for for some other marketing purposes. And, and we'll we'll get that as it comes along. <clears throat> but what you want to do is you want to come down on the page. And you want to come down to list activity. Okay, it's over here on the side. See where it says list activity? Now, if you look over here on the side, it's e commerce and retail, nonprofit, education, music, software, list activity, uh, date based, custom, integration. They've got many, many triggers in here that are really super cool. Now, some of these don't require any additional programming by Mark. So as you're setting this up, I highly recommend that you just look around here and find out what the automations are and go into the support system or the help system and look up that automation and see exactly what it does. It may be something that you can sell. It may be something that you can do to help your customer's business grow and make money at the same time. And I'm not going to go through all the automations, but I just want you to understand they're there and they're very very, very good. Okay. And they're free. <laughs> That's the best part. Okay. We're going to come down here to welcome message and we're going to add an automation 
for the welcome message. You guys are quiet tonight. Okay, name your automation. Welcome, I can, you can name it whatever you want. Okay, select the list that it's a part of. If I had multiple lists here, and I'm going to talk about multiple lists in a moment, but if I had multiple lists here, I would select the list I want it to go to, the this specific automation to go to, and exactly what it will do. So I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to say next. And now I'm going to come over, and I've got my automation set up. Now, I've got to go in, and I've got to do a couple of things. I've got to design an email uh, because this is the welcome email. The great thing about this, does everybody know the little slide button? And I'm going to show it to you in a slide in a moment. The little slide button that says, yes, I agree on the app when someone uh, opts in. And before with the old system, even though they slid that, they still had to, uh, uh, they still had to uh, opt into the list. With this, when they slide the button and they say, yes, I understand that I'm opting into this list, they are opted in. This isn't a double opt in. They only have to subscribe once, okay? So that's really, really cool. They put their name, they put their name and their email address in, goes in, and it goes right into your system. They slide the button. If they don't slide the button, it tells them, hey, if you want to be in this list, you've got to slide the button. And uh, if you haven't tested it out, go test it out. But the first thing we want to do is we're going to come in and we're going to edit the trigger. All right, the trigger is what actually sends this email and when it sends this email. We're gonna go in next week and we're gonna set up multiple campaigns where you're doing uh, multiple things for your client, where you can go in and set it up to send out an email every Wednesday and or whatever day they want. And we're gonna set up uh, campaigns on couponing and how to reach out to their clients and do some really cool stuff there's just not enough time in it today to do that, but we're going to, we're going to continue this next week and uh, really get into these triggers and show you how to use this. So we don't want them to wait one day. We want to click on this and we want it to send immediately. Okay. Send this immediately. Now, right here, it says triggers trigger when subscribers are imported. Okay. Yeah, it, it's changed a lot, Todd. Absolutely. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I, I, I couldn't believe it, how, how much it's changed. When you're importing list, okay, when you're importing list, do not set this trigger right here for imported list. And I can't remember who that was. Ask, two or three people were asking a while ago about importing list. And uh, make sure that when you're importing your list from your accounts, okay, uh, Make sure that you uh, make sure that uh, you don't click this trigger. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, don't. Uh, it's kind of a tongue twister. Don't click this trigger because what will happen is, is all the lists that you've imported that's already using the system, they will get that welcome email that you're going to see me set up, thanking people for signing up for the system. Okay, so we're going to set the trigger for immediately. All right, and then we're going to come up here. And it's, it's kind of weird. I don't know why they did this. It's usually down here on the bottom. But update trigger. And you're going to update your trigger. And you can see that it's changed. Okay. So uh, now we're going to come in and we're going to add an email. All right. We're going to schedule the email. We want it to go every single day. What time should emails be sent? As soon as possible. <clears throat> if this was a marketing email, which we're going to get into next week, I'm going to show you how to set these up to where they are, um, um, they, they're timed and they can go out in a timely fashion and you can do so many things with this. Okay, now we're going to save the schedule. We edited the schedule. You don't need to edit the segment and you do not need to edit the actions. Okay, you do not need to edit the actions. Now let's come over and we're going to start working on the email. Now, does everybody see this blue? I want This is very important. This is very important that you see on this blue button on the right-hand side. Anytime you see anything in MailChimp come up and it's got a, a path to follow, you'll see the blue button on the side. What you need to do is, is you don't need to go back and forth. You need to follow the path, okay? 
follow the path. So it specifically says next. So this is this is the name that we named the email. Okay. Uh, welcome to our weekly email specials. This is the subject line. Does everybody see the little star over here on the left side? Can everybody see this little star? Uh, that's an emoji. You can put emojis on here. And um, I like I like using emojis because emojis, and I'll show you on the email, emojis in a phone, on in an email client on a phone, show up, okay? Emojis show up on a phone. And I don't know if you get very many of them. I get maybe one or two a day. Those always catch my attention. So if you want to use an emoji, this is the sun shining. No, that's actually, I think it's a star. That's a star. I was going to put the sun shining up there, but that's a star. And uh, it, it's at the very beginning of the email. So when that email is opened up, that big, bright, yellow call to action there of, hey, look at my email, is there in your face. All right. It's from Carrie and the email address. Now we're going to click next. This all comes with the free system, guys. You don't have to buy anything else. That's another reason I love this program. You can pick layouts, okay, sell products, make an announcement, tell a story, follow up, educate, and, of course, you can scroll down through these. Uh, there's themes, all right? You can do themes. You can do anything. But we're going to simply pick, and I'll show you which one I picked here. I'm going to pick sell products. The reason I want to pick sell products is because I'm putting a call to action at the bottom of this uh, of this template right here. Okay? So I've got sell products, market line of products, promote seasonal items. And this is the one that we're going to use a lot. Okay? Now you can go in and you can pick themes, and they've got background pictures and all kind of really cool stuff. Or you can create your own if you're if you're creative. I'm not creative. I usually have to use other people's stuff. So we're going to come up. This is a drag and drop WYSIWYG player. Okay. I mean, it's, it, it is it's very, very simple. All you have to do is literally upload your logos and upload the information you want. You can design this any way you want. You can bring this, slide this over, and you can have groups of images. You can have an image card, an image and a caption, your social share buttons. You can do anything with this you want. I recommend over the next few days as you're getting acquainted with this that you come in and you play with setting up some of these emails. You can set them up, set up as many of them as you want, build you a dummy account if you want, uh, uh, and a dummy campaign, and just go in and set them up. It's a lot of fun to play with. It's very easy to use. It's all drag and drop simple. <clears throat> I literally done did this in about five minutes. I uploaded the logo. I clicked on the box that was here, and I updated the text that was in there. There was a box down here, and I updated the text that was in there, and I created my email. Okay? And we're going to save and continue. And I've got my email built. Okay? I've got everything done. Now we're going to go next. Your workflow is up and running. Your list is connected. Click this button right here that says, yes, track my emails. Welcome, trigger immediately after subscribers join your list every day, all day long, okay? You don't want them to sit out. If, if somebody is sitting at their computer or they're sitting on their phone and they join that list and it takes about 15 to 30 seconds and you're going to see it in just a moment because I recommend that everybody on here do this, okay? Yes, every single client needs an account. Yes, they do. And the reason I recommend that is, is if some reason they get in there and let's say that, that they have the username and the password and they know a little bit about MailChimp and they start burning your account, guess what's going to happen? They're going to shut your entire account down. So let every account shut itself down individually. Okay. When they burn that API, you're still up and running with all 500 of your other accounts that you're doing email for. And that's what was happening at AppWizard Studio. Guys were starting to uh, use the system, and we started getting dinged, and we were changing email servers like you guys change your shorts. And it just wasn't working out very well. It wasn't working out for everybody very well, especially our company. And uh, so you guys need to make sure that you set up those separate accounts 
so that if that person decides to upload an 858 uh, person list that uh, signed up somewhere else and then 800 of those people complain and they shut it down, you didn't shut down the entire system. Okay? Didn't shut down the entire system. So you're up and running. This tells you your workflow is up and running. Everything's good. Your trigger set. Now, let me just tell you, okay? Yes, each will have a separate list and a code. Absolutely. If you'll notice right here, and I'll show you guys this, if you'll notice up here, these triggers, this, and that's because I did this and cut these slides before I changed the trigger. <clears throat> I was flying through this trying to get ready for training. And then when I got to this page right here, and I'm glad that's the reason I didn't change these out is so I could show you this. If you'll see up here, it says one day uh, after subscribers join your list. Well, I didn't want that. I wanted it to uh, trigger immediately. When I got to this page right here, and you can see it says trigger immediately here. When I got to that page, it said one day. And I thought, gosh, I got to change that trigger. I forgot to change that trigger. So when you're actually looking at this workflow, <clears throat> read each thing. Make sure that it's going to the right list. It's very easy. And next week, we're going to go in setting up multiple lists for multiple things that you can teach your people to market. <clears throat> okay, so that... <clears throat> Excuse me. So that you can um, build lists for different segments of their business. All right. It's a great program to be able to do a lot of things with. So we're all set up and we're going to exit out. All right. You've got your me welcome message here. It's going to give you your stats here. It shows you that one email was sent out. You can come over. You can edit your automation right here. Once you get it set like it's going, and I know we have a tendency, uh, especially me, to go in and jack with stuff. I don't know if that's a Texas term, okay? Uh, my daddy used to tell me all the time when I was growing up, quit jacking with that. So we have a tendency to start jacking with stuff after we get it right and, it, and it's working. Stay away from this edit button once it's set up. Unless you got to go in and maybe after you sent your email out, you notice that there's a spelling mistake like I do all the time. So don't jack with it, all right? Get it set up once and and then go in and start working on your next automation and your next automation and get them right the first time and make sure, email them to yourself, sign up on the list, look at them on a phone, make sure they're, they, they look right on a phone, make sure they look right in your email client. I'm gonna show you that in just a moment, what it looks like on a phone. I don't know if, if if most of you realize, I'm sure most everybody does, on a phone, on a computer, you have to ask it to download the image. On a phone, the image is already shown. Phones are just, phones with email are like texting. Most email is opened on a phone now. So that is a, a great opportunity for your clients to do some good looking stuff like this so that when they send their emails out to these people and they're at work, they're getting that coupon information. They're seeing uh, the bright colors. It's uh, bringing it to their, their clients attention and they're making sales. And that's what it's all about. Any questions on that at all? And I know this was the longest part. Okay. That, that believe it or not, that is the longest part. Everything else is very simple. Any questions at all on anything I've gone over before I go into the control panel? At all. Either you guys are really getting this or you're going to watch the video, this training about five times after your training tonight. Any questions at all on anything? I will go all the way to the top if I need to. Uh, Rick, I, I'm not sure if I answered that. Uh, so each will have a separate API analyst. Every account that you create when you follow these steps and you go in and create an API, you create that API for that account. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, under the um, agency, you can still attach all of those accounts to your account, but it's not using your API. You're just able to monitor those accounts and get all the data in one place. That's what I like about the agency. Okay, we're going to roll on. She will finish at 9 o'clock tonight. I'm very, very shocked. 
Inserting the API and list ID. Yes, that was the hard part, Ed. <laughs> That's the hard part. Just follow these steps as I did, and, and you won't have any trouble. I, I worked on about four different ways to do this. And when I put these steps together, I wanted it to be go from here to here to here to here, and you're set up. Awesome, Rick. Okay. This is just a test app. Okay. It was this was actually a app that I tested for a school for for prom and uh built it built the uh, app and I've still got the test app here so I just used it for this for this example. Okay. And I actually y'all saw the dog whatever that that's an actual app I built too. Uh the dog app, well I use that in Valley Test. So uh somebody let's see http I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, wood tap at Moby. Everybody open this app on your phone. I just put it in. I think it's right. Somebody check that for me. Uh, I just put the app in the chat box. Everybody open that app on your phone because I want you to see how the process works. I think it's very important. I have people call me all the time and say, how does texting work? Type it, type it in and see, you know, type it in and see. Okay, so go into the app, go into edit web app, go into messaging center, and this is all you're going to see on there is click here for weekly savings. Go into messaging center. Does everybody see the monkey right here? It says MailChimp API. Click on MailChimp API. This is your API key. The first thing that we uh, set up, the first number that we talked about, and this is the list ID. Never, ever, 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 ever give these out to anyone. Okay, don't do that. Very important. If someone else gets this API key and this list ID, they can go into whatever program they want and they can go in there and blow your account out. And you don't, and trust me, people do that. People go out and get that stuff all the time, burn your mail service and move on to somebody else and burn their mail service. And uh, that's what they do. It's, it's, so save this somewhere where it's safe. Put it on an external drive, on a thumb drive. Uh, keep it somewhere safe. And I, I can't express that enough. I'm just letting you know. Put your information in there. Make sure once again that there is no space to the left. All right. No space to the left. No, they can. you can sign up for email and text at the same time if texting is turned on. You can sign up for email and text at the same time. Just turn on your texting in your app. Or you can just sign up for text. Make sure the API key is all the way to the left. Make sure the list ID is all the way to the left and hit save. Now, has everybody gone to this, to this uh, URL on your phone that I set up? Does everybody see this right here? Has everybody gotten to this? My peripheral vision is amazing tonight. Okay, I want you to go. Okay, I want you to go click on uh, join the list or whatever it was. Care for weekly savings. I want you to see how this works. I want you to get the email. What's going to happen is, is you're going to go in and you're going to put your information in. Okay, it's going to hit that trigger remember we didn't we didn't make any other emails except the trigger the welcome trigger it's going to hit that trigger that trigger is going to say okay rick just asked for this uh we're going to send a welcome email and we're going to send that out to rick and it's going to take about 30 seconds and you're going to get that email in your inbox okay now my emails all came to my to my regular inbox um i didn't do anything special i didn't say okay put this in in my inbox so I either was very good on my title or MailChimp is also 
uh, not blacklisted many places. So, and you don't want to get blacklisted. So just click here for weekly savings. What the email looks like, okay? And uh, this, it looks just exactly like you built, right? Welcome to La Doggy Pet Grooming Coupon Specials. Our customers are the best customers in the world. Thank you for your continued support of our business. We would like to give you 10% off your next pet grooming. To continue to show our gratitude, we will send out new coupons weekly. Watch your email box each Wednesday for new coupons. Now, what I want you to do is when you get that email on your in, on your phone, okay, I hope you're doing I hope you're all doing this on your phone. I want you to go down to the bottom of that email and I want you to click here for savings and I want you to see what happens. Okay. If you noticed on here, if you'll notice on this app, this is the only button here. But I'm going to direct you, okay? I'm going to direct you to a coupon page, all right? And we're going to go deep into that next week. I'm going to show you how to, how to do that next week, all right? When you click here for savings. There's a link to this. This information can be changed, so you can change it to uh, <clears throat> your call to action, all right? When you're in your WYSIWYG program, all this text right here was just uh, text that I typed in. And the great thing about this is, is it's all can spam compliant, okay? Everything's in here properly. All the information that you put in, so there, you're not, there's no legalities that have been left off, all right? This is what it looks like on a phone. Remember I put the little star up there? On a phone, the images automatically show. <coughs> Unless you've gone in and you've done something to your phone to stop that from happening. <coughs> Excuse me. There's my little star. Welcome to our weekly email specials. Welcome to the doggy pet grooming specials. Our customers are the best, all right? And here's the here's what it looks like on the phone. You scroll down, the call to action button here. Click here for savings. The can spam information, links to your Facebook, your Twitter, <coughs> your Instagram, your website, or you can make these links whatever you want. You can change those on your site. And that's the end of the process. That's the end of the process. Any questions at all? Now, this is a welcome email that was set up to be triggered. This isn't an email that is set up anywhere else. Don't set up any emails anywhere else in the system. All the emails that need to go out with this, you don't want to turn extra buttons on. You don't want to turn extra buttons off because what you're going to do is you're going to create um, – a block in the API and your email is not going to go out. All right. And guys, I am, I am so thankful. I've got one more thing to cover and we're going to talk about before we get off the, off the line here. Is there any questions at all? Did everybody see how that works? Did everybody receive your email? Did everybody's phone work? Did everybody get the information? Awesome. Next week, we're going to go in and we're going to set up a coupon series, an automated coupon series, and I'm going to show you how you set it up once. You will never have to go into MailChimp again. Once you set it up, everything will be actually changed in the app, okay, uh, so that, that everything, what do we want to do? We want to direct everything happening in the app. We want people utilizing that app. We want people... Uh, taking that app home with him at night, and we want people flipping through there. We want them sharing those that, that app, and we want them it, making sure that our customer knows that all the money he has spent for marketing was spent in the right place with the right people creating the right programs to bring him customers. There's one thing I can promise you. You could not do this with the mail program that we had. Yeah, I, I hate that about. G <laughs> That's why I don't use Gmail. I, I, I use Gmail, but I use Gmail and Outlook. But anyway, and then you know why I come under promotions? I, I'll just give you guys a quick 
Gmail lesson. Welcome to La Doggy Pet Grooming Coupon Specials. Those are two keywords for promotions in Gmail. Okay, just so you know. All right. Any questions at all? Anybody? Let's roll on. Many noticed that the email portion of the Share Web app has gone away. It went away for the same reason, one of the same reasons, other than we was able to upgrade the marketing platform. Uh, it went away because we were getting pounded uh, that we were sending spam, and all that went through our servers, our email servers. We were getting pounded that we were sending sending out spam <clears throat> and reported by people receiving that spam when we sent out when when your customers or whoever was doing it <clears throat> was sending emails out okay uh, Woodrow had to make a corporate decision do we do we spend the money and waste the time every single week starting new email servers? Or do we take away something that really isn't that essential from a marketing standpoint when when people react to text in 90 seconds versus 90 minutes? So the decision was made to remove that section rather than put money into something that we shouldn't be putting money into and wasting time uh, restarting uh, email servers because of the can spam regulations. So now, okay. Yes, texting and email are separate. You have to do the email from within. You have to do the email from within um, MailChimp. That is correct, Rick. So to make a long story short, the decision was made to remove the share email and I know I've talked to gosh man a ton of people over the last couple of days and it didn't to them all right because they use texting that's what they teach people to use so uh, when you go in and you share that email you're not gonna you're not gonna see it all right and I think it's actually on this right here so when you go in and web app it's good to go directly to the email uh, to the texting client on the phone it will no longer give you an option right here and once again and once again it was to protect protect our servers okay last thing some of you still yes it's been turned completely off it's been turned completely off It's no longer there. When they click on share web app, when they click on share web app, it's going to go directly to the email client. I'm sorry, to the texting client. Okay. Many of you still love the um, kiosk 1.0, and uh, I still use the kiosk 1.0. I love the kiosk 1.0. I know Woodrow uses it. And uh, it's a great program. Some of you use the kiosk 1.0 and some of you use the kiosk 2.0 simultaneously. You're able to use both of them at the same time because they're different databases, different, uh, <coughs> excuse me, different platforms. Okay. So what, what Mark did, so it's easy to find. If you are using kiosk 1.0 and you've got texting attached, when you go into edit web app, You'll see here at the top, and when you click on that, instead of trying to find it, if you'll just click on that, you have the option now of going to uh, the 2.0, or what we are now calling the classic, okay? So you can access both of them from right here. You don't have to go searching around in Message Center. Everything is under the same tab, all right? So if you're using the 2.0 and the 1.0 together, you'll have both of them there. Uh, if you don't have texting turned on, 
just like before, because texting is what activates 1.0, uh, you will not see the classic here, nor will you see it up in here. Okay. And this is this is the share web app. I got ahead of myself on the share web app. Any questions at all? <clears throat> How many of you are going to spend the rest of the night setting up your MailChimp? <laughs> it's, it won't take long. I'm going to post this broadcast as soon as we're done. That way you'll have it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I will save these uh, these slides. If I can, I will upload them into uh, um, I'll upload them into Facebook, and you can download them. I'll save this as a PDF. And you guys can have the slides for this. If it's not too big, there's a hundred slides. I don't know if it'll if it if it'll do it or not. No, it's the email share that has been eliminated. Texting is still there. <laughs> it's easier than you think. I mean, it, it took me an hour to explain, but literally, I could have went through those slides, and you can set this up in ten minutes. Yeah, I will. I will. Uh, I'm going to say I may have to break the slides up into four parts or something. I'm not sure how much Facebook will, will allow me to upload that. Share web app. OK, you had texting and you had email share. The email share has been eliminated. OK, when you click on share web app, it goes to your email client. I mean, your texting client now. It does not go, it does not send out an email. It doesn't say, give me your name and the email you're sending it to. It only goes to your text client. Yes, you have to buy the viral. The viral text feature covers every app in your system. Viral text feature covers every app in your system. No, there's no button. No, this goes directly to. When you click on Share Web App, it immediately opens your text client. Immediately. So you can make this, uh, you know, text web app. You can make this whatever you want. You can change whatever. Uh, somebody's got some real good wording on that. Uh, you could copy the link and put it into your text, or you could copy the link and put it in your own personal email. I mean, there's a there's hundred ways. There's a lot of ways to share it. You just can't share it via email from the app anymore. Awesome, Ed. Awesome, buddy. We are going to get back to this uh, discount coupons. <laughs> Not this next week because we're going to go into the training. But uh, uh, this is the same as the refer us button. Some people say refer us. Yeah, text this card, refer us, whatever you want to call it. Any more questions at all? Gosh, man, we got out of here at 10 after 9. I'm, I was expecting 9.30. Let me ask the question. I, 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 I like to get feedback. How does everybody feel about the new uh, MailChimp integration with the uh, uh, being able to do upgraded and, and really nice uh, mail campaigns for your clients and uh, being able to actually put graphics and tracking and everything you need on your email. What is, how does everybody like that? I, I personally love it. Uh, I, I love, especially for the coupon market. Yes, yeah, great. Thank you, Dennis. Yeah, it is a great addition. I'm, I'm very thankful that they did that. Very, very thankful. I know Mark worked on this a long time, so if you're in a Facebook group, uh, thank Mark and Woodrow. Uh, Woodrow uh, pushed the pushed the horse, and uh, Mark made it happen. So, very very thankful. Yeah, guys, I mean, email marketing is huge. It's huge. Y'all saw the emails I showed at the beginning of the thing. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will I will see what I can do on the slides. I may have to break it up three times or something like that. Uh, I will upload those. And the horse didn't kick Woodrow. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. God bless, and I will see you in the Facebook group. I will have this up, and I will work on the uh, slides and get those out to you guys. And uh, thanks so much. Thanks for your understanding on the uh, Share Web app. And uh, I think most people use viral texting anyway. So, um, but, um, it, it, and really, that's what you should ask this way to disseminate information in today's market. And I think the, uh, I think the, uh, MailChimp is going to be exceptional. Good night, everybody. Thank, thank you, Rick. Thank you, Ed. And I know they would say thank you also. You bet, Joseph. Good night, buddy.